IN SESSION RIGHT NOW FOR THE TUPELO PUBLIC SCHOOL DISTRICT. IT IS THE FIRST DAY OF THE NEW SCHOOL YEAR. AND WHILE SOME STUDENTS ARE LEARNING ONLINE, OTHERS CHOSE TO RETURN TO CAMPUS. WTVA'S EMMA PACKARD HAS BEEN AT JOINER ELEMENTARY ALL MORNING, SPEAKING WITH ADMINISTRATORS ABOUT THE CHANGES THIS YEAR. SO, EMMA, WHAT HAVE YOU LEARNED? Well, Morgan and Daniela, things have definitely picked up here at Joiner Elementary. You can see here behind me students filing in. There's a line of cars as parents drop off their kids. And another thing, a lot of students are getting their picture in front of this happy first day sign. It says, welcome back. A great message as students get ready to kick off the school year. But there are going to be a lot of changes. Before we go through those, some students are having to see these changes before they even get inside the building. I know you can't see it because I'm too far away, but over by the door, before students walk in, there's faculty and staff there making sure that everybody's wearing their mask as well as sanitizing their hands before they go inside. Some of those other changes include things like thermal scanners. It's a way for faculty to make sure that no student has a temperature, and if they do have a temperature above 100.4 degrees, they're asked to go home. Also, of course, like I just mentioned, everybody has to wear a face covering, and the school has enough face masks and shields that they can provide one of each to every student, faculty, staff member should they need them. Also, the school has increased access to hand sanitizing stations and hand soap. I was inside the school a little earlier this morning and I can say just from seeing it with my own eyes, there are several hand sanitizing stations throughout at least Joiner, but I'm assured that that's the case throughout the entire district. Students will meet online for large gatherings this year instead of meeting in person because that's the way that they can social distance. Speaking of social distancing, the district is limiting how many visitors and volunteers can come inside the building this year just to make sure that they keep that amount of people inside as limited as possible. Another thing that we talked about this morning with the transportation director is that some buses are running double routes to make sure that they can keep the number of people on the buses limited as well. And they're sanitizing the entire bus after every single route. So a lot of changes here this morning. Just a couple of minutes, I got to speak with Superintendent Dr. Rob Piku. And his advice for any parents or students getting ready to send their, their kids back is just lean into these changes. Everybody's going through it together. So just embrace as much as possible and hopefully we'll have a very great and safe school year. Reporting live in Tupelo, Emma Packer, WTVA 9 News Today on WLOV.